Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel and if this is your first time here, welcome to day something of the holiday gaming week. I've lost track. Uh, I hope you, uh, you're having a great holiday season and uh, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and make sure to hit the like button everyone. It helps with the channel a lot. I've also started some social media on Instagram and Twitter if you want to follow that so you'd never miss out on an episode of the City of New Lancaster. We're following this uh, cargo train into our kind of new cargo train area uh, by our two new factories that were built two episodes ago, I believe, um, because I think we're going to continue our work in this direction. Um, yeah, all right. It's a pretty cool looking area. So in the last episode, uh, we built this metro line and we went under the, under the bridge here and then we pondered for a little while about how it was going to connect and oh we need a name for this district for some reason it's glitching out let's see if all right weird how it's glitching out there we go all right uh, i just added some districts in just so we kind of know uh, what we're doing so this is a new district so we have a subway line coming in from over here and we have a subway line coming in from up here and the airport's going here so we're going to need to meet up over in this direction um, so I think that we did make a mistake by building the bridge so a bit of waste of time apologies for that um, instead we are going to bring the subway along over here and then over and then this one is going to swing up and in and that's the loop so um, we need to build the airport first before we do that and we're gonna use the biggest one because why not but first we are going to need to buy the tile that includes this and we might as well buy the tile that includes this um, I was trying to figure out where we're gonna do with the ports and I figured it out so we're gonna put a smaller airport right here uh, kind of off the model of Toronto with Billy Bishop Airport on the Toronto Island we're going to get a uh, the cargo ship harbor right in here because we're going to manipulate the ground right here so we're gonna have a bit of a bridge that leads into this airport and then the cargo ships are going to, sorry, not the cargo ships, the passenger ships are going to come into here, drop people off right in the downtown, and then we're going to have the cargo out this way, which means we're going to have to bring this rail line, which we already have this tile because we needed it for this area. Um, we're going to bring it along over here, maybe right beside the highway, and we will get a nice cargo area in right here and this is going to be pretty good for um, uh, access for the cars we might have to bring in a spur line somewhere like right here or something to connect up a bit quick I don't know we'll see um, but uh, as of right now that's my plan to put the port along here because I would love to have gotten the port in here but I don't know if that is right for the city so we're gonna have to find a spot for that but I also wanted to keep uh, cargo airplanes out this way because it is the airport anyways let's uh, let's hop into it so we're gonna need to buy this tile and this tile I said fantastic so we're gonna stick with that today obviously we'll buy the other ones as we need them but instead of buying them all at once I'm just gonna kind of buy them when we need them um, all right oh, this is a nice beach all right, so let's look at the airport. Uh, oops, right here. So my idea was to use this peninsula as kind of a landing strip. And I think we're gonna need to t rotate it just a bit. Let's see how that looks. Nice. I know it's all wonky right now, we'll level it out. But yeah, there's nothing too crazy with mountains or anything in the way. All right, let's just pause the game while we're doing this. Um, and then we're going to need to take the leveling tool. I'm just gonna get, it. oh, that's the height. We're just going to get it. Yeah, that's good. And we want it at that level. Really? You're gonna do this to me? All right, well, we'll have to replace it, I guess. All 
Interesting, interesting. That's fine, at least now we know the dimensions, right? All right, so now that we have that in place, let's try to do it this way. So we'll just do move it, or not move it, move it with the traditional method, and boom. All right, so we have our main airport, and this airport has a few things. It has helicopter uh, pads, and if we go to the transit tool, it has a subway stop. There's actually two of them, so technically we could get like a second line somewhere somehow or we can just stick with the one we have but um yeah so i was debating between between that subway station or that airport and this airport which you know i'm not sure if it has a subway station let's uh let's check that out uh yeah it does oh okay well this one has a helicopter pad though and i think that's pretty cool all right so now we're going to figure out how to get the uh, this connected in. So that is the tricky part, especially the fact that we're kind of building on a cliff or into a cliff. So I think we're going to need to get the smoothing tool out again or the level terrain tool. We're going to select the terrain level that we're at. And whoa, oh man, I missed this. All right, one more time, one more time. Come on, there we go. All right. This is my first time building an airport in on the PC version of the game. So hopefully I uh, don't mess it up. So we're just going to have to take out quite a lot of land here um, because planes are going to need to take off. And that's fine too because we're probably going to get some cargo airports around here as well. Now, originally I didn't want to um, take out too much of the land, but that's probably fine uh, because I liked how this was on uh, on a hill. But um, it looks like we're probably going to need to to do this at least lower it a bit. But now that we're here, let's smooth it out. We're probably not going to build too much out this way other than the airport itself. Maybe like a post sorting facility or something, but uh, but yeah. All right, so now that we're into the roads, I don't think I can change this road, but it seems like it's probably a one-way road. I mean, I would assume so. Let's check that out. It is not a one-way road, <laughs> but let's treat it as one. So um, we're going to need to bring this into one road, I think, and then this is going to need to connect into that one road. So let's start by doing that. So let's get this tree-lined road. Uh, you know what we should probably do is, um, the game doesn't, <laughs> yeah, there's trees in the airport. Uh, so the game doesn't, uh, delete trees when you build over top of them. So, uh, what you, need, what you should do if you're trying to save FPS and your computer's power or computer's t computer words, you know, uh, you should remove the trees before you build. So then they're not rendering underneath the buildings. All right, so we'll just stick with that for now. And let's hop back into what we're doing. So I think right about here is a good spot. Yep, and we're just going to just do a bit of a straight road for now. Yep, and then we're going to take our highways. Ooh, don't like how this turns. Okay, we're gonna need to fix this um, because I guess we can do some lane mathematics on this. Yeah, all right, we'll do that as well. 
So two lane highway, uh, upgrade. So it's three lanes here. So it's going to go turn into two lanes. Perfect. And then three lanes, one off. So this is going to turn into two lanes. And again, over here. Awesome. So now that we've done a bit of lane mathematics, uh, we can now take the three lane road our three lane highway and do this let's do the freeform road and we're just going to connect in and then we're going to do the same thing right here so we're going to take move it and we're just going to just adjust them so that does so it looks more smooth and then one thing that you need to do when you do something like this where you take highways and you merge them into a into like a boulevard if you have PC, is just to do that. So let's control S using this part of TMPE. Um, we can also do something a little bit more fun, like this, which is the um, uh, the line tool. Darn, what's the name? <laughs> Brains not working today. Uh, all right, so we can do this, and then do that make this a solid line and then do that as well make that a solid line Let's stick with the solid lines and go there and then we'll make these two dashed all right then we'll go to fillers and connect the middle up and do something like that so now it actually kind of looks more like what the road would actually do instead of just kind of leaving it as a little bit blank. So now that we have this, I think the idea is that we bring this in. Now, you know what? This, this is a little difficult because if we get cargo airports out here, where did they go? So maybe we should model that now too. So let's go to airports. Cargo Airport Hub. Now, I think this is the one that takes the trains. Yeah, it is. So, maybe this is something we put. Yeah, no, I don't think an airport would really work out this way. So, maybe it is something we have to bring in from here. Bring it across, and we can make it. I mean, I can't really rotate it, unfortunately. Maybe we can get it so that the airport, it's like the, the landing strip is here. No, no, that, that wouldn't be, that wouldn't really work. Maybe we get the landing strip out over here. Yeah, I mean, I don't have anything planned for this area. We already have a train coming out this way. This is a pretty good spot. Okay, so we won't have to worry about that. We'll get its own little diamond interchange right here. All right, it's gonna be a little tight, but you know, I think we can do it. And you know, they'd probably be at the same, have the same air traffic control tower anyways. Uh, all right. And what, we're gonna, what are we gonna do out here then? Hmm, stuff to ponder. So we're gonna have to bring this road down. And so there's, there's two things I was debating when I started going on that little tangent there. Um, do we just bring it right in like this? and then make it turn into this road? Or do we put it into a roundabout? Hmm. Because we're probably gonna get a much more stuff out this way. All right. It's a little, little tricky. All right, I wasn't really expecting uh, expecting this to be tricky. So let's um, let's try the roundabout method first. Um, let's go from here, and we'll go eight units, and then that means oh come on, we'll go four out. And I went five out, didn't I? Let's 
Perfect. Then we'll use this three lane one way road. And then we will put it on the curve road tool. Oh, no. So I, I know that looks looks right, but when you're doing roundabouts, I mean, we could just make use the roundabout builder. But uh, I think I'm, I think I've lost my opportunity for that. <laughs> All right, so we'll connect it up using the road guidelines part. Perfect. All right, and then we're gonna leave that in. And then. We're going to take the two lane one way road. Uh, oh, no, it was right here. All right. And then we're just going to do that. And then we're going to do that. Oh, darn. What happened here? Perfect. So we can have the boulevard curve this way, right in. And then we can even have some more exits. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. Um, so we've done that already. And let's get the preformed road. And I wonder how that's gonna work. Oh, what the heck? All right, let's uh, let's restart this. You know what? I kind of want it just to be a two-lane road coming in. So I think what we're going to have to do to make that happen and make it look nice is what the, I thought I turned snapping on. Um, so we're just going to get a nice little curve like that. that um, oops and then I think what I want to do is I want to get a road coming off of this. So let's take this and yeah, we'll come up over here. Hmm. Let's just bring that out just a bit more. And then we're gonna do something like that. All right. And then this is going to curve in. All right, so now this has a dedicated lane to turn on. So let's make sure that we do that now. And before we do that, just realized I need to flip this around. All right, so we're gonna give dedicated turning lanes. So now what's gonna happen here is cars are gonna to need to pick their lanes a bit quicker, I guess. So, whoa, jumpy. So I think what we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna to have to use the node controller mod. There we go. And we're gonna to need to add a node in right here. So let's turn everything on. And, oh no, what happened? I exited. <laughs> um, we're gonna make it sloped, and then we're gonna make it a default node. So now what we can do is we can go into this, and right here, we're going to do Control S, so they have to stick in their lane here, but we're going to get out of that. They have another node here, Control S. Uh, you know what, um, how do you delete that? There we go. Uh, this is what we're going to do from here. So we're going to allow them to switch, but only one lane.
Does that make sense? Oh, all right. So this lane can go into the middle lane or stay. This lane can go into, I think maybe we should make it, this one can go into any of them. There we go. And then we'll go into this node and we will leave it open. But here we will do control S. Just add like that. And I think if people are coming off this way, they need to be able to get into all of the lanes. Uh, they have plenty of time. We don't even need to do that. Uh, let's just delete that. And we'll just do dedicated turning lanes instead. There we go. Oh yeah, that's why. Okay. I'm a little confused there. So this should give ample opportunity for cars to turn around and then they come down into the roundabout here and then they can either choose to turn around or continue on. So now we can delete this. And we have a cool little entrance into the airport area. Now I think this should work. I don't know why anyone would turn around necessarily. Perhaps we can bring Another road in. Yeah, let's do that. So let's take uh, this one. Yeah, a little tight squeeze, but I think it'll make the purpose of the roundabout a bit better. So let's just bring this road down all the way over here. And then from here, we will bring this over this way. We'll figure out what to do with it on a later time. Um, and then maybe we can even connect these later. But I wanted to bring a road in down this way because, oh no, I was using different asymmetrical road. There we go. You can always upgrade that later. But uh, let's quickly take a, a peek at this. Um, so we're just going to need to do this one. There we go. So now you have to give way coming on and it also gives dedicated turning lanes. to each section. So this airport is gonna be technically operational for now, but there's a few more things we need to do. One of them being we need to bring water in. And we I don't have any water out on this area because we've only just started building. So let's just get water to the airport for now. And that should work out great. Yep, there we go. Let's just repause it for a second because I'm kind of thinking about what I want to finish off the video with. And I think what we need to do is we need to bring in this road here. So I think what we're, we're using just a plain, plain Jane road. Yeah. All right. So this one, so we're going to have to delete this. It's going to come straight. then right at this road here we're going to tack in like this so um, what we're going to do is we're going to lower this to negative six 
and bring it under like so. So this road, this highway, sorry, which is a three lane highway is going to get upgraded to elevated. It's a little wonky, so we're going to have to use move it. And we're just going to lower it down a bit. And it looks like we're going to have to upgrade uh, a few more to elevate it around it. That one's fine. Yeah. And then we're going to have to upgrade these. Or at least that one to elevate it. Might as well do that as well. All right. And then we're going to have to take this node and lower it down slightly as well. And this one, just a touch. So now that this road goes underneath the highway, I mean, technically this, <laughs> this street lamp is going right through. Um, maybe what we can do is we can grab the nodes on the highway itself and raise it. So I'd love to just bring it up a touch. Okay, let's, let's grab them all. And I want it at that height. There we go, it doesn't look too bad. Cars can get underneath. Awesome, so now that we're here, we're going to take this three lane road. And the reason why I'm using these three lane roads is because I expect there to be a lot of traffic. And um, I'm going to counter exactly what I just said. And actually I'm just thinking if we have this road here, what we can do is we can connect this up like that, give us a dedicated turning lane off, and then we can continue this road as a two lane. Yeah, I think when it comes down to an intersection like this, it's probably a better bet to do. And now from here, what we can do is we can bring this road slow, slowly. We can bring it up to ground level. There we go. Let's just do that. All right, we'll fix it up and then we can connect it in right here. And then this road can probably instead be a four lane road all the way. Actually, you know what? I, I don't know. I like the, the one way look, but let's uh, let's just make the switch right about here. And then the switch is going to have to happen there. All right, so I'll fix this up probably off camera because it's a, probably a bit more of a slower uh, look to it. But um, we're going to see. I'm, I want this to kind of act kind of like a off ramp onto itself. However, I don't think this needs an, like a, an off ramp exactly. Oh, darn. I just want that one. I think what this needs is a connection right here. Um, yeah, that works with me. Let's grab all the nodes and then let's bring it up to this height. Oh, okay. Wasn't that, much, wasn't that much of a change anyways. Um, so if people want to get on this road and they're coming this way, what they can do is they can just take a separate entrance. However, I want people to be able to get onto the highway from here. So this is the tricky part. So this is an airport direct road. So it doesn't need to connect to this line here because it's going to the airport anyways. But it does need to connect to this 
line. So what we can do is we can take this highway. Oh, why am I there? We can take this one right here. Let's say about here. And we'll come off the road like that. And then we will use the freeform tool and we will swing beside the highway here. And we will connect up right about there. All right, and then this is going to turn into a two lane, which means this will have to be a four lane for a moment, just for merging. And then when you do have cars merging on the highways, uh, control S click right there, boom. And then if you want to be even more fancy, do the, use the node controller mod. Sometimes it takes a while to press, <laughs> make the junction sloped and then expand it until you feel it's good. All right, and we can do the same thing there, but I think the cars will be able to, to manage that. Um, so we'll use the move it mod and we'll just adjust just adjust. Perfect. All right. So I don't want cars coming this way to use this lane because any car that's coming from the airport should instead get on the highway here and then go over. And then they'll be able to. Hmm. So maybe we should do the same thing on this side, where car is coming from the airport. No, we want them to stay here to to use the highway. Like people coming from from the airport out should only use the highway here, right? But I guess they could take this into the city directly, but it's gonna be slower. Um, so maybe to discourage that. Anyway, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, but that's a quick, easy access to the highway from that side. We don't need to go from here over here because they can just make their way into the city that way. And we already have that way and they have that way. Um, I think from here, we might as well get a turn off into the city just in case. So let's go from, why is snapping keep turning off? That's interesting. We'll get up. Like that, and then we'll connect right there. And this might make a bit of a, bit of a mess, but I think it looks cooler having uh, the two slip lanes is right there. So I think we're going to leave it for the luck. Oh. Ah, you know what we didn't do? That. Now, see, we could decorate the lanes again, but you know, I've wasted a lot of your time today. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. What the heck, Siri? Interrupts me all the time. Uh, but you know, I think this is pretty good. I think it looks okay. And I will mess around with Move It at a later date. And the next episode, we will finish the airport area. We'll get some services out this way. Um, we'll figure out if we want to actually get the cargo airport over here or something. Because we could easily bring the train line over like this. And we'll bring the subway line in. Um, but uh, today's today was just pretty much figuring out how we were gonna get one this like these avenues into the downtown into the airport area and you know what I'm still not really you know what it's fine it's fine because they can choose there's two ways into this area this junction might get pretty hot right here so maybe we can continue this road down why does that keep turning off? Uh, let's get a perfect curve in, though. Uh, 
let's bring it to about there. Yeah. And uh, when you're using these asymmetrical roads, always try to use the one that's in this tab, not on the small heavy roads tab, because you can do this, you can make a, these little, this little cool line right here uh, with those ones. So yeah, uh, I guess we're gonna have to do that. Yep, that works for me. And we'll figure out what to do with that area later. But now there's two ways in um, and we'll see who actually uses what and we can delete roads later. But um, if you have any name suggestions for the airport itself, let me know. And if you want to name anything else in the city, let me know as well. Because there's a lot of free neighborhood names uh, to be used up in the neighborhood or in the city. <laughs> neighborhood names to be used up in the city. That's what I'm looking for. Um, so I hope you liked uh, airport part one and airport part two will come out tomorrow on the next episode of gaming week or holiday gaming week. So I hope you have a great day, everyone. Peace out. Follow me on social media, Instagram and Twitter. It's the same name as the YouTube channel. I hope you have a great rest of your day and peace out.